The Biden administration has temporarily lifted tariffs on solar panels made in Asia. The move is in response to widespread delays and cancellations of solar projects stemming from a Commerce Department investigation into possible trade violations. The investigation is looking into whether panels imported from Cambodia, Malaysia, Thailand and Vietnam illegally circumvented tariffs on goods made in China. According to the White House, most solar panels in the U.S. are imported, and about three-quarters of those imports come from Southeast Asia. For more on this, I am joined by Gina McCarthy. She is the White House National Climate Advisor, the first person to serve the president in that role. Welcome, Advisor McCarthy. It's good to have you here. So tell us why the administration decided to lift these tariffs. Well, first of all, thank you for having me here. And the president actually took three very decisive actions yesterday. And that was done in response to an urgent need to grow the domestic energy economy and strengthen our energy security. We were seeing the potential for significant layoffs, solar projects not coming online, grid instability as a result. We wanted to protect those jobs. We wanted to grow and spur our domestic economy. So we provided a small window of opportunity, really, which is a 24-month bridge that's going to jumpstart our solar imports while we reinforce the integrity of our trade laws and those processes. By taking action to really spur uh, the domestic production of solar right here in the United States of America. So, so that 24-month window is not uh, going to impact our commerce investigation. That will continue, but we wanted to make sure that new tariffs were not going to be imposed and we could jumpstart our solar sector once again. So, Advisor McCarthy, as you're bringing up, one of the criticisms uh, of this decision is that the president's actions undercut American manufacturing. I know that President Biden is also invoking the Defense Production Act to try and boost the production of solar panels and other clean energy technologies mm -hmm. here in the United States, which you alluded to. Uh, first, how do you answer that charge, though, about about um, the president, lay, even this temporary 24-month pause, how that yeah. affects not only the investigation, which I know the, the administration has said that they're not going to, in, to uh, mm -hmm. interfere in, but also undercutting American manufacturing. Well, this is all about actually... Biden sanctioned solution that would have reinstated solar charges. President Biden sanctioned a solution that would have reinstated bills on solar panels imported from unidentified Southeast Asian nations, saying that the decree would destabilize his presidency's determinations to generate a robust indigenous solar supply succession. The declaration, which was approved by the House and Senate in bipartisan votes, would have unfinished a Department of Commerce statute that barred charges on solar panels shipped into the country from Cambodia, Malaysia, Thailand and Vietnam. The law went into its full implementation in the 11th month of the year November after Biden in June had well-ordered prices on solar panels from those Southeast Asian countries abandoned for a couple of years. The tariff abdication was envisioned to tackle a scarcity of solar components, which was detrimental to American solar schemes, while granting the United States to manufacture its national solar construction capability. About three-quarters of solar units shipped into the United States in 2020 came from Southeast Asia, the White House reported last year. Part of the problem that you were talking about with uh, with solar companies and and the job insecurity that that industry is facing right now is because of this Commerce Department investigation yes. and the possibility of retroactive tariffs. If the investigation yes. concludes that tariffs were being circumvented overseas, how might that change the administration's solar plans? And what reassurances can you give to solar companies who are, who are hoping to install these here in the United States? Actually, what we really need to do and what the president did very clearly is to say, let the commerce investigation go. Let's see what the commerce department looks at and finds. They will implement whatever uh, action is necessary to take. What we did with this 24 month period is to make sure that there were no new tariffs during that period. And there was also uh, no retroactive to be paid during that period. But 
if there was circumvention, then the Commerce Department will find it and they'll take action after this 24 month period. But this period gives us time to ramp up. Remember, this bridge is not the only thing we're doing. We're using the De Defense Production Act to ramp up. We're using investments by the agencies to ramp up. Mm -hmm. So we have bipartisan infrastructure law resources we can put on the table. So this 24 months will make sure that we're not stalling. It will make sure that the grid remains stable. It will make sure that we keep growing yeah. at jobs that are important Advisor, for climate. Advisor McCarthy, we only have a, a few more moments with you, and I really want to ask something that's very pressing. Yeah. Gas is nearly $5 a gallon nationwide. How is the administration balancing America's need for oil with its clean energy agenda? Well, they're, they're exactly in concert with one another. What the president has done since day one is to make sure that he tackles the climate crisis in actual ways that lower the cost to families. In ways Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.